Four-wheel drive is inseparable from Subaru. Off-road is inseparable from all-wheel drive. The result, the birth of the Subaru Forester. The first Subaru Forester was released in 1997. Based on the platform of the Impreza model, the engineers married it with the engine from the Legacy Outback, designed a taller and more spacious body and hoisted it on an all-wheel drive chassis with increased ground clearance. So one of the first crossovers appeared even before the term came into use. In 2012, the fourth generation of the Subaru Forester was released, but we will talk about the pre-styling Forester 3, with the factory designation S12, traditionally produced for the brand for exactly five years, from 2007 to 2012. It was in this generation that permanent all-wheel drive with the free center differential finally disappeared from the Forester arsenal, which was replaced by an asymmetric distribution of traction along the axis using a multi-plate clutch, permanent front-wheel drive, and the rear wheels are connected as they slip. The transfer case with the lower row has also disappeared, but the main distinguishing feature of all Subaru has remained untouchable, the boxer engine. So the phrase, symmetrical all-wheel drive, beloved by fans, since 2007 means nothing more than a chain, power unit, cardan, rear gearbox stretched along the longitudinal axis of the car, located strictly symmetrically, without the slightest shift to the side. The third generation is very different from its predecessors in proportions. The car noticeably swelled up, changed its image, the Forester looks, if not fashionable, then modern, and also got rid of frameless door windows. In other words, the Forester 3 has turned into a classic crossover, which is what Subaru was trying to achieve by promoting its brainchild to the American market. By the way, the term crossover itself was first applied by the company's marketers to the third generation of the car emphasizing the departure from off-road specifics and focus on the mass buyer. On the Russian market, Forrester was offered with three engine options. There were two atmospheric 2.0 liter, 158 horsepower, and 2.5 liter, 173 horsepower, and a 2.5 liter turbo version with 230 horsepower. The two liter car, although devoid of high-speed dynamics, is a model of practicality. Designed for powerful motors, the chassis in this version obviously lasts longer, but the 2.5-liter engine makes the car fast, and the turbo engine makes it very fast. All motors are quite reliable, no inherent flaws were noticed behind them. The durability of the turbine, as usual, depends on proper operation. Subaru does not have a regular turbo timer, its installation will cost 2,700 rubles, and the turbo timer itself will cost 8,500 rubles. General recommendations for the care of the turbine are simple, use only high-quality engine oil, let it cool after a fast ride. With this approach, the turbine resource is likely to exceed 100,000 kilometers. There is also a diesel boxer in the factory range, the pride of the brand. This engine is also reputed to be reliable and unpretentious, but diesel cars were not officially delivered to us. No failures of fuel systems due to low-quality fuel were observed in general. For cars with a 2.0-liter engine, a campaign was carried out to replace the catalyst due to its low efficiency. To clarify whether there was a replacement on a particular car, you can contact any authorized dealer. Not typical for Forester 3 and overheating, but washing of radiators is recommended, after winter, to remove anti-icing reagents, in June-July, to clean it from poplar fluff. Flushing is possible only with dismantling and will cost 2,400 rubles if you wash only the cooling radiator, and 4,800 rubles if you have to blow through the air conditioner. As an alternative to the 5-speed manual transmission, a 4-speed automatic is used. The unit is quite old, but reliable and proven, and most importantly, it works well. In general, the transmission is not satisfactory even for instances with a mileage of more than 100,000 kilometers. The automatic transmission has a manual mode, which allows you to better choose the speed on the road. Among the episodic breakdowns, the rumble of the bearing of the intermediate support of the cardan shaft was noted in machines with heavy-duty operation. The propeller does not change separately. The work of replacing the entire cardan shaft will cost the owner 600 rubles, plus 39,257 rubles, for the complete shaft. Suspension is Forrester's forte in the sense that she is ready to swallow almost any bumps encountered on the way. By making the springs and dampers softer, Subaru's engineers noticeably improve comfort when driving on terrain, but at the same time sacrifice stability in extreme conditions. 
The Forester's characteristic rear axle shifting when hitting bumps can be avoided by installing stiffer rear shock absorbers. However, fans of the model are well aware of this nuance of road behavior and, as a rule, take it into account when driving dynamically. Most likely, the owner of a used Forester is expected to play and knock on the steering rack with electric power steering. This is treated by installing a repair kit, which in 75% of cases solves the problem. The issue price is about 7,000 rubles, while a new steering rack costs about 40,000. Wheel bearings are quite reliable and wear out the more severe the road conditions. Replacing the front will cost 1350 rubles, the rear, 1500. The brake system has a solid margin of safety, which allows even on a car with a supercharged engine to get good runs before replacing the pads, front, in the range of 25,000 to 35,000 kilometers, rear. 45,000 to 55,000 kilometers. Brake discs usually outlive two to three sets of pads. Subaru Forester cannot boast of an abundance of electronic equipment. This is the ideology of the manufacturer, nothing more. Most likely, that is why there are no common defects in other systems. Body Forester 3 made more rigid than its predecessor. However, the traditionally poorly closing rear door is also characteristic of him. Experts say that it's all about adjusting it and you just need to correctly set the door in the opening. Then it will close well even on a posted car, and even more so it will not rattle. There are cases of mechanical failure of a CD drive when playing counterfeit products. In the rest, very often the embodiment of the thesis, what is not in the car does not break. Workhorse with a clear character and great opportunities. All Subaru trim materials do not shine with sophistication, but they are practical and wash well. Tall drivers in the Forester 3 will no longer have to sit with their legs crossed, there is headroom in both the front and rear. The second row is generally ready to surprise another fan of the Mercedes S-Class, there you can cross your legs. But the pillow itself is rather low, and the driver's seat is almost completely devoid of lumbar support. And the seat backs are traditionally low, but a large trunk with a full-size spare wheel under the floor. The necessary tool is easily placed in the same niche as well as a set of a first aid kit, a fire extinguisher and a stop sign. Here's a bigger glove box. Of course, both previous models looked more serious in the eyes of an off-road lover and were more conducive to overcoming real off-road. However, Forester 3, for example, surprises with excellent visibility, which has never bothered anyone on the ground, and not only forward, but also backward, through a specially low-cut glass of the fifth door. But from the former prowess of a sort of village boy, ready to confidently jump through fallen birches or boldly hang out a wheel, climbing a steep parapet, the third-generation cars have little left. Here is the protection under the bottom, a thin plastic against splashes. However, for asphalt battles, where the curbstone will be the most insurmountable obstacle, the versatility of the Forester 3 is enough for the eyes. If we evaluate the speculative costs of ordinary maintenance for a used car, the following will become clear. For a four-year-old Forester 2.5 Turbo with an automatic, standard maintenance, which includes changing the engine oil, all filters, including cabin filters, and brake fluid, will cost about 20,000 rubles. This is if the mileage of your car has not exceeded 100,000 kilometers and timing belts with rollers do not yet arouse suspicion. If the car has passed more and the diagnostics showed wear of the timing drive parts, then it is advisable to change the belt itself, tension rollers, candles and oil. Such a procedure will ease the pocket of the owner immediately by 42,626 rubles. Given the large overall resource of Subaru engines in harsh operating conditions, such costs do not look prohibitive, especially since another 10 to 15,000 with large MOT can be expected.